So it has been a couple of hours since I've started the crock pot and it smells so good in the house. I have about four big chicken breasts in here and obviously before I serve it, I'm gonna take them out and shred it. Shred the chicken and then put it back in here. But it smells so good. If you guys want the recipe, let me know. I can definitely share with you guys. Little update on how we are doing. I am still doing nutrition in notes. And I just wanted to show you guys really quickly how I do my notes. Just for those that I know are wanting to do digitalized notes. Highly recommend. Because even if you are more of a paper person and you study off of paper... If you do your notes ahead of time, you can just print these out and put them in a binder and save them for like a final exam and you can even get them in a binder or in a spiral notebook type of thing at Staples or Office Depot, those type of stores. I've seen people do that. Personally, um, I will probably go through my notes before an exam and do it into a Quizlet. I like Quizlet. It's just always accessible anywhere. Same thing with digitalized notes. You can just pull them out. It's an iPad and just study. But anyways, basically I will read a paragraph from the text. This is on metabolism. And I will take out as many extra words as I can. If there's a bolded word, I will just put it here, highlight it. Again, take out any extra words. Some things like, I'm trying to figure it out as well. Um, for the cell membrane, it's kind of lengthy. It's just a lot and I'm more like quick to the point. What do I need to know? But that's okay. I'm just kind of changing up how I want to organize my notes. It's just, I don't know. But going off of our schedule for today, my first time using this like hourly study schedule it is about is actually 12 on the dot so um let's see nine o'clock passed 11 o'clock has passed okay so now what i'm going to do is listen to a podcast and i'm going to look at this sleep diary that i need to do for my wellness and resilience class and I can cross, oh, this is hard to do with one hand. I'm going to cross this out because that's done. And then I will move on to studying for my prefix and suffix after this part because it's not too long. It's not going to take me very long. So, And then I work in about an hour and I'll work until four. And then I'm hoping I'll take like a little break and study for my prefix suffix exam. And then... I just have more stuff to do. It's just a busy day. <laughs> busy day, but I like being busy. I like doing, I like jumping from class to class and doing different stuff. So my brain stays stimulated. And yeah, I will keep you guys updated on the rest of this stuff. sister decided to bring all her stuff from Nordstrom Rack that she got. Yay, she yay! said they had like a huge sale going on. Um, and honestly, the service in there was absolute crap. So I didn't see like how nice everything looked. I kind of just went by what she said looked good and everything. So let's just start And I'm going to be honest with you guys. <laughs> when I got there, there were two ladies that like literally had their carts full to the point where it was like I couldn't even get through the stuff to like dig in because they were hogging the lane on purpose so nobody could go on one side or the other side. I saw that. So it really was like pissing me off that I, I had to like FaceTime my sister and be like, hey, look at this. When I tell you this lady's cart was like like a pile over yeah. this 
You would have thought she was working for the store. Yeah, and all I kept hearing was like, I don't know if so and so is gonna like this. Think about Christmas. Think about Christmas. Christmas. And I'm thinking like, okay, but can you please let me go through so I can see this stuff too? Like, yeah, it was, I hate it was really people. frustrating. But, but it's, it, it's Nordstrom Rack. What can you expect? Yeah, and I did. We did find some goodies. We because I'm not gonna, you know. So she said this one would be cute when I dress up. I don't dress up for school because most of the time it's cold in there. But some days in the fall I like to dress up because it's, you know, fall. This is like a sheer top. They charged us $10 for that, which... Which? Shouldn't have been $10. Why? Or maybe. I don't know what the difference was between tags. Because I feel like they well, said we'll clearance. Just and then the next thing is this purple top bodysuit that one was this purple top five dollars and then there are these joggers oh they look a lot more like joggers in person mm -hmm. they didn't on facetime they have like this texture at the bottom if you guys can maybe see like a ribbed texture. Five dollars. So, size are these? Yeah. Thank you. And then a couple of these things were for my mom. So, like I think this was for my mom. A just light pink sweater. Super soft, super cute. And then this is also, it's almost like a beige, but it's. I don't really know how it goes. So it's like a twisty one. It twists in the front, twists in the back. Oh, I can kind of see it. You guys probably can't see it. That's okay, though. Um, and then she also got this t-shirt for when she works for my sister. She also got this hoodie. Who's this for? Me. Really? Yeah. I didn't see this in my... Yeah, it was in there. Was it? It's for me, yeah. No, I said it wasn't in the FaceTime, was it? Uh-uh. This is like, um, it has no sleeves. It's kind of like a, like literally a fall perfect hoodie because it doesn't have long sleeves. But this looks cute. Nice and flowy. Moving on to the next bag. This is like a very Aztec type of style. Love it. That's definitely in for this fall. Look at that. Super soft. <laughs> Why is there Chex Mix in the bag? Because <laughs> Ralph made me drop it in there. And then she got this bright pink top. Bodysuit. Maybe you guys can kind of see. I'm not good at hauls. Guys. No, I can tell. I don't really give hauls. I give more lifestyle vlogs. Like a, a very pale pink. She got the same one in a forest green with the lace. And this is a, do I remember seeing this? Oh, my sister said some lady wanted this from her. Is this the one? Yeah, I was literally FaceTiming my mom and I was like, look how cute this is. It's a small. Yeah, but it doesn't look like a small. It's very oversized. Please. Yeah, it, it doesn't look like a small. It looks honestly like a large, if anything. So I was thinking with that, some leather leggings. Yeah. And then we still have more. If you guys don't know, I am obsessed with the color lavender. I love lavender. I don't know what it is. And she found this. It looks like a crop. Does it? Is it like a crop or no? no. A lavender like it has that design on there it looks really really soft it's a medium but it doesn't look like a medium we still have more this is a oh I saw this in the FaceTime this looks just like it did there this is a I would say this is like a foresty green hoodie it's more form-fitting what 
What? What's wrong? What's wrong? Nothing. He charged me twelve forty eight for that. Huh. Brown lace top. What was it supposed to be? Five dollars. I don't that's why I have to look at the difference of the tags. And then this it's like a it's like a pink, it's almost coral. And this is a small, look how baggy this yeah, is. Yeah, look how cute it is. Their sizing is so weird though. But originally a hundred dollars. It's crazy. Who is it from? Halogen? That's it guys. That's all she got from Nordstrom Rack. Um, I don't know what I'm about to do, but I'll update you guys when I do because we need to check these prices on these things. Because we like to find a good sale, but we don't like to get ripped off. Facts. Good morning. Today is a very big cleaning day. Technically, right now, Jesse has two houses. He's trying to sell one. We have to throw everything, well, not everything, but we have to throw a lot away. So, a dumpster was rented, a big one, so we can just throw, throw, throw. And um, I'm going to get paid a little bit. So, that's pretty sweet because uh, usually I try to get a lot done on the weekend school wise, but he's like, I know you have more things you could be doing. So I'll give you some extra cash. I was like, yes. So let's go clean this house guys. I should be able to get out. Okay. How was your cleaning day one? Good. I'm pooped. We got a lot done. Jesse just said that for some it may look messy, and it does, but I forgot we have to take that exercise machine. The bed's full though. Look, our goal was today to just throw, throw, throw. Like literally throw anything and everything. Let me show you guys the trash bin. Um, we got a lot thrown out. Like a lot so I personally am very happy with what we got done today um, we were here at like a little before 11 and it's 3 30 so we were here for about five hours uh, we wanted to get as much done today because tomorrow it's supposed to rain and be crappy so I was telling Jesse we should get like as much done outside as we can. And we got a lot of stuff from the garage thrown out. And I believe we have the dumpster for another weekend, I think. But in case we don't, you can get it. In case we don't finish, we got a lot done. So I'm happy with it. And we're going to take my bookcase today and then the desk. The desk. So... And we just have like miscellaneous stuff. Like I said, you guys may think it looks super messy. And part of it does look messy, but part of it to me, a big part is like so much got accomplished today because it just it needed to get done. Um, he's trying to get it on the market like ASAP. So I don't know how long it's going to take us to just pay some money to clean it, but we got a lot done. Now it's time to eat dinner because I'm starving. Or lunch, dinner. Liner. Liner. Well, we both got all showered, washed up because we felt disgusting and sticky after being there cleaning for hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed following a week in my life again and stay tuned for more videos.